In this video, I'm going to set up my music apps. Let's go into that right now. Press the music icon. All right, so the options we have are Bluetooth and I have my phone paired to the Bluetooth so I can play music directly through the phone into the car. Next, we have iHeartRadio, Spotify, Terrestrial Radio, and finally, tune in. Let's go to iHeartRadio. And let's see what we need to do. Log in on the car screen. Or sign up on your phone. Uh, I can do it right on the car screen. I have my login information. I'm going to put in on the top. Let me put this a little bit higher. So let me put in my email and my password. Then you press the login button at the top. And so now it asks you, share your location to get the most out of your iHeartRadio, including radio stations near you, personalized recommendations, and custom search results. Tap next to accept or deny location access. So yeah, I'm gonna accept it because I wanna see what's near me. allow all right let me move this down again so we come up let's see so the iHeartRadio app comes up we have a home radio podcast playlists is there anything else down there nope that's it then up here you have search and then a settings let's see anything good in settings uh, let's see. Yeah, not much in here. Just going to go back out. All right. Um, since I have a iHeartRadio account, I have some previously um, filled in things. Let's see if they have that now. No, it shows stations empty. So I never, I guess I never set up any stations for it podcast did i set up any for this no no i haven't uh playlists yeah i guess i signed up a few years ago and i just never really used it so uh, at a certain point i'll be able to add stations and podcasts and all that information then down here it gives you a trending um i guess uh, different types of music you can click on those Halloween is today, so that makes sense that they would have that. So that's basically iHeartRadio. You have your controls at the bottom of the screen. So you know what? I am going to do... Pop Top 40. Let's see what that does. Oh, of course, I can't play music on YouTube. For copyright reasons so we'll have to cut that out all right so that's iHeartRadio. going back to the main menu we have spotify and let's see we can log in using pin code or log in using password let's just do the password and the login screen is way up top i'll enter my email and password now it says to log in let's see what it does let me move the camera back down again to see very similar type of setup that we just saw for the iheart radio you have a home button reset recents browse and library you also have another uh, search and gear icon up top so they're using the same you know very similar interface here uh, let's see what we got so the home screen here has a bunch of different pre-filled in artists and albums etc and so you can select something from that you can go to recents Let's see what it says. 
it's thinking. No recents. Okay, it makes sense because this is a brand new car. Browse. Okay, this is where you can pick your genre. You can go through and select what you like. And it looks like there is a lot of different things in here. So, and, yep, so lots to choose from. Let's do rock. And then you have all subgenres. So, uh, let's do alt now. And, of course, I can't play the music, but imagine music is playing right now. So it is playing. Um, like most controls, you have the rewind, pause, fast forward, or next track. Uh, the name of the artist and song. And then a little heart. You can click on the heart for favorites. So we can go back. So that was Spotify. Let's go to radio. So radio here lists basically what comes in uh, your area as far as the strongest radio signals. It pre-populates them. And then it also has the categories. And there you go. So you can hit any of these that you like and pop it as a favorite, like the little heart right there. And that's about it for terrestrial radio. Pretty straightforward. Uh if you click on favorites, it'll just show the two stations that I had checked off. Let's see if there's anything interesting for radio settings. Traffic announcements, that's interesting. Warnings and frequency fix. I'm not even sure what that means, but turn it on. Why not? Back to the main menu. We have our last app. Tune in radio, which I use all the time on my Tesla Model 3. It's my favorite app for doing podcasts. So I have all my podcasts on there. So basically this is on top saying uh, new subscribers get a premium free for six months. That's nice. Get a whole bunch of music with that uh, and less ads on radio stations. So you can scan the QR code down here or get a pin to connect. So let's see. Um, not sure what that is. What does get pin to connect? Oh, okay. So what I'll do then is it's telling me to, on my phone, go to tunein.com slash auto. And then when asked, enter this code. And then uh, I can log in and do all that. Uh, so let me do that now and I'll turn everything back on when I'm done. So I signed in and I got my six months for free. Now it says your account is connected. Share your location for access. Yes, we want to allow. Allow. Yes. Likewise, we have our home button. Recents, favorites, browse, search, and gear for settings. Uh, like most other apps here, we have our filled in information. Uh, this has lots of songs, has different categories. Um, you can listen to live sports, live news, and it's a long list. It keeps on going. So, very cool. Recents are going to be... Oh, I guess I do have some recents on here. It shows all the stuff I've been listening to on my Tesla Model 3. It pre-filled in, so that's great. So, I can listen on one car and uh, pick up on another car and not miss anything. So, very cool. I also have favorites. Browse, this is how you can find 
granular detail on whatever particular type of music or podcast or talk radio or sports, any of that stuff, audiobooks even. So tons of stuff in here that you can look and add to your account. So I like this a lot. TuneIn is probably what I'll be using most. I, I really like that application because you can use it on your uh, PC and add things to it and it shows up right in your car. So pretty nice. All right, so I hit the back button, brings us out to the main menu. So this was a quick overview of setting up the music apps. I think it's been promised that there's gonna be more apps coming. I would definitely like to see Apple Music, Amazon Music. The one I'm, I'm really looking forward to is if they can add Sirius XM streaming, would be awesome. There's there's a bunch of other uh, streaming audio apps too, like Pandora, that would be nice. I know some people prefer that to Spotify. And um, yeah, so that'll be great. I'm, I foresee them adding more over time and it should be pretty pretty easy to do since it's just a software upgrade. All right, so that's it. Summarizing the music uh, situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.